Hey guys, um, doing something a little bit different today. No face cam, and you're going to notice the energy is a little bit less than normal. Uh, I just tested positive, but I wanted to still potentially put something out. Um, it's been, uh, we just actually passed the... Uh, six months of uploading a video every single day on this channel, um, which is pretty cool. And um, I didn't really want to break the streak. I might have to. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep it up all through the rest of the week. I think that I'm over the worst of it. Uh, I woke up with a, a fever of over 100 this morning. Um, but was able to nap that off, and um, now I'm feeling much, much better. I still have a little bit of a headache, uh, but I'm feeling much, much better. But let's talk about Storybook Brawl. Um, this was a silly game. Um, I always like eggs on Celestial Tiger, and uh, wind up finding two blind mice just kind of randomly. And uh, we go for that early shrink spell as well to lose our first combat and hopefully win the rest of them. And um, I think that this happened last patch too, if I remember correctly. But I think there was, as soon as the game was kind of patched, I just kind of defaulted to playing Slay a lot. And I think a similar thing is going on with the current patch. And maybe that's because Slay is good. Maybe it's because it's like one of the best strategies while people are still figuring the other things out. And I think that we might see like Slay early on in the month. And then later on, we'll see a little bit more trees just as I get more comfortable and confident with the patch. Uh, but for right now, I've been playing a bunch of Slay. And obviously Slay is a scaling comp where you need to make sure that your units are, are bigger than your opponent's units. And it creates some interesting things. We're going to lose a uh, Wish Upon a Star here to a Needle Nose Daggers. Um, but Slay creates some really interesting... I don't want to say... It, it just... There, there's something really interesting about Slay where, like, if... Because I think in this game what's going to happen is is almost everybody's going to wind up playing Slay. And can't remember if we saw that in the grandmother video that I posted for Mother's Day or not. Uh, but I know, I know I've got some other videos maybe coming up or just some other games where it's like, who can scale their Lancelot the most by the time you're in the top three, and whoever does that winds up winning the lobby. And obviously there's other things that can that can go right or wrong. Your Lance can attack into a Jormungand or something, and, and you can get some, some nice value there. We get a nice tie here as well, which is sweet. Um, but we get to pick up our first treasure as Celestial Tiger, and Dragon's Nest, always pretty good on the Tiger. That That's basically what's gonna push us into Slay. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to try to edit out some of my coughs and things, but um, bear with me. I might not get all of them. Um, and I, I am feeling, uh, well, at least much better than this morning. Um, so um, don't don't worry about me or anything. I'm good. Um, but hopefully uh, this is still an interesting game. If, if the commentary isn't up to standards... Um, I don't know, maybe mute the video and watch the game, because it is an interesting game, I think. Um, we're going to end up taking Merlin's Hat here. I don't think that we are behind enough that we need to take Eye of Ares or Power Orb. Um, and we also don't have that much to take advantage of Eye of Ares. Like, we lose this fight here if we had taken Eye of Ares. So, pretty glad that we didn't, because my opponent had multiple ranged units and the Black Cat and stuff like that. So... I will just take the Merlin's hat and then we pick up a lightning dragon. That's also pretty sweet. I'm going to mix a whistle the awakened princess and that will wake it up and then flip it. So next turn it'll be an 8-8 again. 
But basically, um, I felt like we were ahead enough that we could just pick up the Merlin's hat and roll for some XP. So that's what we're going to wind up doing. I'll just settle on a lightning bolt. We're halfway through completing... Sorry, jumped ahead a little bit too much there. We're halfway through completing Cinderella. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I lock another sleeping princess here because I actually have two sleeping princesses. So that'll get us a, uh, a tier three treasure next turn, which is great. And uh, yeah, halfway through completing Cindy. And then we're just strong because of the dragon's nest and uh, can hopefully use that to buy some XP. I'm not like locked into Slay at this point because I don't have River Wash or anything yet, but um, obviously having a huge lightning dragon does does definitely incentivize you to go that route. Uh, Peter Pan's already has Hap also. They are gonna wind up hitting us for some damage here, but we'll grab the Sleeping Princess, and of course I'm gonna grab a treasure map. So now we can find a tier seven treasure potentially if we can complete the blind mice but we don't have any other pairs so i might just settle for a tier six treasure with the cinderella and just use cindy plus the doubled up treasure map to grab us a tier six treasure but i can make that decision next turn if I don't find anything here, because I don't know, I'd have to find, like if I had found a vampire, vampire there, I would have locked it and pursued that, but because I don't find the vampire, um, we'll just wind up uh, probably activating Cindy next turn and grabbing a tier six. And there's some really strong tier sixes right now anyways, gonna have some water here too. Now that the um, music's in the video, I feel like I don't have to talk the whole time maybe we could take the wizards familiar um but again that would still just be pursuing a tier six treasure so i'm just gonna roll we could sell cindy but it's also like just fine to like we're definitely casting this xp spell uh for one coin and uh, have to decide then if we want phoenix feather or wand of weirding i don't really think the wand of weirding is gonna get us too much at this point of the game um because we're not balling or anything so we'll just take phoenix feather that will resummon the dragon or potentially some other fun stuff then we find the vampire triple so i'll pick that up now and i think bad moon is a pretty solid way to go here i'll pick up the bad moon sell the blind mice and then grab river wash mermaid and this is looking pretty good for us. I do think that we're gonna be strong enough to win this Wish Upon a Star. And we are gonna be um, just scaling a lot. And uh, that's that. I think that's the name of this video too, probably like scaling with scales or something. Cause it's really fun when you can make Dragon's Nest work. And it's, it's really good right now. And especially so on Celestial Tiger. So that's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, I'll just, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, eventually I'd be looking to replace the dragon's nest now. Have to sell two things to pick up Lance and Baba Yaga, uh, which seem like I do want to do that. I think I wound up selling the awakened princess, but that's a mistake. I should just sell like... The Wizard's Familiar and the Lucky, or the Wizard's Familiar, yeah. Yeah, I sell Awakened Princess. I thought I needed to sell three things, but um, that was that was just a mistake. Um, I didn't play this game. Well, well, I mean, maybe I had COVID, but <clears throat> I didn't play this game. Um, you know, it, 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 that was just like a. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I didn't have COVID when I was playing this game that like made me play poorly. Uh, I haven't played the game in the past few days and I'm actually only one game away from hitting Mythic. I'm at, I'm at 2930. I did really well ranking up this month, but um, I just haven't played in the past few days because I haven't been feeling the best. And I've been busy with Mother's Day and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, hopefully I can get Mythic and I'm feeling better for the tournament this weekend, but also just hope I'm feeling better in general. 
Um, going to Queen's Grace the Lance to grab a tier 5 treasure will probably be replacing the Dragon's Nest at this point. Um, which is why I probably should have held on to the Awakened Princess, because it's just a larger unit and like Lance or uh, Vampire in the back isn't actually slaying. Uh, my opponent's got some dragons themselves, and we're both going to slay against each other. Uh, but here's kind of what I was talking about. Like, my units are just bigger than theirs. So we are going to wind up... Um, actually, yeah, making out really well on that combat. Like, we get all of our slays and scales and stuff, and then we get to pick up Evil Eye. And that's pretty good, too. That's uh, one... One piece of the sleigh puzzle. I'm not sure at this point if I'd be looking to replace the Phoenix Feather with a Horn of Olympus, but probably would. I think Horn is a more important piece. And I don't really want to toss the Bad Moon because a doubled up Bad Moon on Tiger is really quite good. So, gonna wind up picking up the Evil Eye. And, um, yeah, th that's basically what I was saying, though, is, like, you could see against that opponent, our lance was bigger than, they had bigger dragons than us, but our lance was bigger than their lance, and then we had, like, some more XP to be able to pick up some other stuff, and then we're gonna play against another opponent. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is really cool. Let me, let me rewind it, because this, this happens multiple times this game, um, but, yeah, again, like, uh, another Slay opponent, and it's just going to be like, who's bigger going into this combat? We take out their Spellweaver with Fog, so that's really good. Their Hatball Fork Slay. And one thing that we get to do here that is really awesome is Lance attacks, slays, and resummons, which means that it gets to attack again. And it'll keep these stats with Phoenix Feather. Um... So this is really, really sweet and allows Lance to do some really good work here. And uh, we'll even get almost a Hercules treasure. Still need a little bit more on that Hercules. But now that my Lance is getting double attacks with a evil-eyed Baba Yaga and a Celestial Tigered Bad Moon, we are just getting... And now we're going to even Knighthood the Lance. Um... We're just getting so many more slays than our opponent here. And I'm going to go all in on Lance um, so that Lance is now my first attack. And it's being supported by Baba Yaga and Riverwash Mermaid. And this will just allow Lance to go absolutely crazy. I'm working towards the Hercules, though. I'm not really sure why. Because I don't really need a tier 6 treasure. Um, but... It's almost completed, and it'll be a 40-40 after it's completed, so that's kind of sweet too. Um, and then Lance will again attack, slay, and resummon itself, so then it'll get all of those bonuses almost doubled, right? 176, what was it at before? 86 to 176, that's over double. So it's gonna it's gonna basically more than triple in this one combat because it'll slay, go up to 176, and then it'll go up to what like two, two, 260. Yeah, absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy there. Um, Feasting dragons also going to do some scaling. Unfortunately, Herc doesn't get into combat. We were too strong. So Herc is not going to do anything for us there. But Lance now up into 260. Really just looking for Jormungand. There he is. A few options with Jormungand. We could just backline it, though. Uh, we're up against the Ghost this turn. So we could even, like, try harder to activate Hercules right now. But I think that this is going to wind up being fine. Oops, did I just skip past the ghost? Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. This is where we were, right? 
Yeah, those Robin Woods are gonna try to slink, shrink Lance, but that's not gonna work. My Lightning Dragon is even going to stay alive there. Lance is gonna get another plus 80, basically. Or it's like plus 90, right? Yeah, it's plus 90 every time, because uh, it still ends in six. So, yeah, just pretty incredible stuff there. Plus 90 every single time Lance gets to attack. Um, probably not enough time to scale another Lance or take another Hercules. Don't really care about that. Just looking for a Dragon Triple to potentially find um, the Horn of Olympus. But even if we don't find Horn of Olympus on this one, I think that we are in an okay spot. I'm eyeing up the Medusa just as like an additional unit to throw in that might be able to do some interesting scam stuff. And uh, there's no point in playing the Hercules. I, I might as well just play the Lightning Dragon just to be a little bit stronger. Unless I can triple the Lightning Dragon, which I'm not going to be able to do this turn. But against a real opponent here, I will play the Lightning Dragons. And we can see my opponent has... A large, large Lightning Dragon, but no Jormungand. And this whole combat is going to come down to me just having a, a huge Lancelot compared to their Lancelot, my opponent not having a Lancelot. Um, so we also had the Jormungand too, but it was really the Lancelot that was, that was so much bigger against them. Jormungand only got up to uh, like the 90s before it got attacked. Here we get to make use of Hermes Magic Boots, Beans, Hermes Magic Beans, um, as a, uh, a cool new little spell here. And then I'll pick up another River Wash Mermaid. And I'm not sure if there's really a great way to fit it in. I mean, we can play this new one because it's bigger, but after that, like, there's still some interesting options. We can put Jormungand in front of the Baba Yaga, too. But ultimately, I'm just going to wind up playing the same thing. And I'm not going to worry about my backline Lightning Dragon because of what this Wonder Waddle actually had. I felt like my smaller Lightning Dragon wasn't really going to do anything. And again, Lance gets to attack, slay, and die resummon itself which will allow it to attack again and my lance is bigger than my opponent's upgraded jormungand so that's going to be really good for us and uh, we'll end up dealing some nice damages to my opponent as well as really really growing our feasting dragon too we're up against the ghost now so i'm gonna put hercules back in maybe we'll make something happen with that gonna triple the river wash and that doesn't get us anywhere but it does get us like a huge river wash so I'm fine with this and uh, just moving some things around now to actually have Hercules potentially slay but ultimately just gonna decide against it and am considering picking up like Cupid there if I potentially want some more slays but i um, gonna go for a uh, Medusa at the last second and honestly, I feel like I could have sold something there to just go for the spinning gold. Probably would have had to been like the Hercules though. Um, so a little bit awkward, but we're going to wind up hanging on to the Hercules and we do get that quest completion. And I totally forgot that Mimic Chest was now a tier 6 treasure. So that's actually great. And... The game is over, there's only one more combat, so I feel like I don't actually need the Bad Moon. Bad Moon doesn't increase the number of slays, so I just want to play uh, Mimic Chest, Phoenix Feather, Evil Eye, and I feel like that'll just increase the number of slays with Jormungand. And then we also have Mimic Chest, Phoenix Feather, which could be pretty strong too, potentially. So, yeah, I like that as a way to uh, cap off here by picking up our last treasure. Don't really need another Medusa. There's no room for it. Like, I could cut the Feasting Dragon, but there's just no room. I will lock a Lightning Dragon. We could, we could find the, uh, the Horn next turn. Um, Lightning Dragon slays, and then they're going to take out our Jormungand. 
and then they're gonna take out our lance, but we've got a mimic chest, Phoenix Feathered Lance, and I actually forgot about that in the real time of the game, but uh, that's gonna that's gonna make it pretty easy for us to actually take the win because our lances are just as big as my opponent's Echo would. Uh, so there we go. And uh, interesting interaction there when you've got... So one thing just to know about Phoenix Feather is it resummons like the same individual unit. So when you're Lancelot, Phoenix Feathers, and then Slays again, those stats it is going to keep. Um, and it'll only work on that, like, if you get Mimic Chest, Phoenix Feather, only the first Lance that resummons, only that one is actually going to give you stats back um, for scaling purposes, but there you go. Um, I thought this was a fun one. Uh, Slay, definitely pretty strong right now and a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Um, we'll see. We'll see how things progress for the rest of the week. I'm not... Um, I feel fine-ish right now. Well, I'll say this. I felt like absolute shit this morning, but I feel much better now. Um, I imagine I'm only going to get better throughout the week, um, but I do, you know, this is, this is going to be obviously like a little bit of a drop in quality over what you'd normally see on the channel. So, Maybe it's just a good time to take a little break, but six months of daily video uploads. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Peace.